Baby number 10? 10. Another boy. Another boy. Eight boy. <laughs> Gosh, where's all the girls? <laughs> Going to Neverland. Here's the new arrival cozy mill. And you just have some key cups. <laughs> Smelling. He has other monkeys, he thinks maybe it's mum and starts screaming. <coughs> Cozy Mo has hiccups. <laughs> the cutest hiccups I've ever seen. Well, as the day comes to an end, little Cosimo finds a little bit of relief in sleeping. Uh, a big day for him, discovering all new things uh, around the place and of course calling out uh, for his mom every now and again. They certainly tired this little one out. Who knows what the little guy is dreaming about at the moment. Hopefully still being with his mom and spending time with her until that was abruptly taken away. But hopefully we can replace her and uh, give him a new mom, give him a new life, and hopefully he'll be just as happy as he ever was before. I think so. We just got Terry on a little nebulizer because she was having some breathing problems and we're worried about aspiration. If she managed to get any fluids down the airways. And she was uh, kept for a week before coming here, so we're just seeing if this helps her. She's also on a bunch of medication as well. And she's also had some carrot juice today, some ginger tea and her medications. Little Terry's doing much better today. She's got less crackling of her lungs. She's active. And she wants to play as well. 
So there's Edson and then Oswald. Terry wants to go and see all the fun that Minimax is having over there with Lana, practicing his climbing. And then there's little Finley okay. doing his own thing <laughs> whilst he can away from Minimax. Come on, Finley. There's Finley running over to Minimax. <laughs> Looking for his buddy. At this age, are they going to fall? Um, just be careful of him because of his leg. But usually they're fine. Okay. It's just because he's got the uh, had the pin in his leg. Yeah. There's Terry on the left, there's Mini Max coming over to play on the branches. Finley getting a nice groom from baby mum Lana. Doing so well. He doesn't use his left leg very well, does he? Mm, no. He'd be right dominant. Oh, Terry? Yeah. Just had a little sneeze. She's looking to drink from the water tap, I can see it. What a clever girl, hey? What a clever girl. Yes. You're so clever. I stopped you now. You wanted to do it in discreet, didn't you? You wanted to do it quietly. Goodness, that's got to hurt. Hey, we can't be doing that. Has Terry just eaten some banana. She's gone over to the food plate. Mini Max joining in. I'm going to wrap him. Some help. You've got a mouthful of food already. I'm not sure if that's a threatening face she's pulling at Minimax. She said, Hey, this is my food bowl, you just stay away from it. I think sometimes they get caught up in all these new tastes and flavors that they're sort of experiencing because you must remember this is like sort of the first time that they're trying all these different foods and things like this and it uh, it must be unbelievable in comparison to the to the milk that one's drinking uh, all these different juicy flavors and stuff and it's amazing how they seem to get attracted to bananas and uh, pick them out above uh, most things in the end. He's having a little drink from the feeding water bowl with Oswald. And it's Finley. Well, it started to rain and of course these little ones have all uh, got a little bit tired from running around and playing and discovering all the new things 
except of course Terry of course she seems to be still wide awake and uh, trying to wake her companions up and getting them still to come and play with her um, but they I think they're just just too tired and had enough and especially with the rain that's coming down at the moment it makes it the ideal time really uh, to climb in bed and snuggle and uh, just go to sleep until it's over and it uh, looks that like that's what these two guys have done but uh, of course Terry doesn't seem to be having any of that Mini Max and Fendi. No. There we go. Okay, there's Mini Max. <laughs> Terry biting toes. Terry's doing so much better today. So these kids get quite a handful when there's this many monkeys all on different bottles, different feeds, smallies. <laughs> one's yes, one's with mouth fresh, one with pneumonia, so we're cheating them all. But uh, generally they're doing very good. This group of orphans. Just a lot to keep on top of. So Mini Max has a Royal Cannon bottle. Filling up. And Finley has his miracle teat still. He's still he's still small but he does struggle with the uh, bigger bottles. I got it for you. You got it? Nice. So there's Oswald and Edson just slowly waking up or Oswald's trying to find a piece of ear to suck on. Oswald's drinking very well today. Edson drinks now and again. Don't suck his ears, Oswald. When they get a foster mum, then they'll naturally suck on the teats of the mum. But for now, they say ears will do. There we go, that's better. Thanks, Connie. Awake now, Edson. While well, yeah, we have Cosimo and Edson uh, cleaning up their little plate, eating uh, the pawpaw and banana and everything that they can find, but I think it's eventually come to an end. But it just shows you how much they're basically enjoying it, they're practically licking the plate clean. Do we have to separate them even if one they are sleeping? Finley and Mini Max, of course, joining up with the others and uh, everybody just having a look who's who. Mini Max, of course, is the little one there with the shaved leg. Uh, we do have to be a little bit careful with him that they're not too rough, but uh, just a little bit of exercise uh, is important um, and also just so that he does become accustomed to the others. But you can see how small he is in comparison. He's still a tiny little one and uh, a lot of place to grow. So hopefully with the growth that's going to give that little leg of his a lot more strength. That's Finley. Gonna play with Oswald. Now going over to go see Edson.
There's Oswald in the middle, Finley on the right, and Minnie Max on the left. Edson on the right just joined Oswald and Finley. Oswald, Finley and Edson. Not sure if the little ones uh, have recognized uh, Mark passing by, but they do see, seem quite interested in him and staring where he's gone. So whether or not they did recognize him, I don't know, but they do seem very interested and sort of following him across to the other side of the cage. Uh, this is great to see how these guys are coming on, of course, climbing in the, the branches and um, getting their balance and everything like this, which is very important. Um, it's not just the feeding cage that they need to learn, but also climbing trees and finding their way around uh, is just as important for them, and they seem to be doing quite a good job at that. Sometimes in life, you just have to put up with the nonsense from your younger brother. It's just one of those things. doesn't matter how irritating he is. you just got to basically sit there and take it. And uh, it looks like that's what's happening in this scenario. I can't say that's the happiest face I've seen in my life, but uh, he's certainly taking a lot of the nonsense from his little younger sibling. This is Terry and Minnie Max. Tomorrow, bush babies Kyrie and Donna will be moving to their rehabilitation cage, um, which I'm quite excited about. They've been sleeping in here for quite some time in the spare room um, of my house, but uh, it's time for them to move on. They were ex-pets for two years, and now they need to return to the wild. So we've been making sure that I've observed them hunting, um, eating gums off trees, a selection of moths, grasshoppers, termites, beetles and a few other things, so quite sure they're able to hunt now. And then they'll stay with it for a while in the rehabilitation cage and then we'll let them out through a door that they can go in and out for safety and eventually go completely out. There are quite a few bush babies on site. Kyrie's still the more confident one, and Donna stays back. But she comes down and eats when I'm not here. So I've made sure that I watch from a distance for her. Well, I hope they're enjoying the uh, last day in Josie's house, catching mealworms and eating all the nice fruit in some nice, warm, cosy place as we're busy preparing uh, their new cage in our quarantine area. 
for them to pop out to and start getting acclimatized to the outside and uh, hopefully it won't take too long before they'll be free and can enjoy themselves in in the trees and catch their own insects and things in the area there's donna looking out the window very alert to predators uh, rocky the dog is outside so quite often she's the one that alarm calls and Kari joins in. So SD's just doing the finishing touches for the cage. So we're just transporting their nest box, push babies in tow, ready to their new home. Esty thinks he's a bush baby, ready to put the nesting box up. I just want to know how to tie it. Huh? Sure, maybe a little bit higher if you can. Oh, and the branch is okay. Yeah, because it's yeah. uh, stabilizing. Okay. okay. Hello. <laughs> They're like, where on earth are we? Oh, look at that so we're going to leave the cage now so they can explore their new home yeah, in peace. We're going to take the letter out from now. It's early for you guys to be up. So this one's Kyrie. That's the bigger one. He always comes down and munches all the mill ones. Innocent's busy getting ready the coca cage for foster mums so we've just taken off all the old chicken wire and replaced it with new made sure the shade netting's all replaced so that all the maintenance is up to up together so that we can start to move some orphans in there shortly here's a maya also robert troop you may remember from quarantine and she lives with ariane And then also their son, Arav. Amaya and Ariane. Small one is Arav. 
very busy and playful today. And there's the whole family together. You may remember when they were in quarantine, when they first arrived, they were actually um, confiscated as a breeding pair. So now they're living happily here alongside Robert Troop. They were originally kept illegally as a breeding pair and then they went to the Johannesburg Wildlife Hospital. And then of course eventually ended up with us. Hello Amaya. Beautiful eyes. They're very curious. Here's the Robert Juveniles eating some pellets. Glenn's come to say hello. So in this bunch we've got Brenda K, Lola Peanut, Glenn Katie Jenny, there's Brenda K on the left, Rocky the dog's just running around so they're doing what they should be doing and getting out of the way, making alarm calls. And they do seem to enjoy this cage with the swing. Brenda Kay's been on it quite a lot. Brenda Kay. Our two old boys is Roman and then there's Hardy. They get lots of special plates because they're very old, their teeth aren't great. Here's Darcy and Robert Troop, an orphan from a few years ago. That was Croco just walking past. Um, Darcy's the only one in here of her age, and she's doing really well. Yeah, the Troop love her, and uh, she's doing just great. Many friends in the Troop, and lots of bodyguards. Well, we've got Brenda Kay, just found her swing and uh, she's having quite a fine time on it. Some of them just love uh, the swing in these cages and stuff like this, gives them something extra to do and she's one of them that just loves being on it. Well, if this is an inspiration to us all, this is little Fiona, our double amputee. And it's quite amazing how this little monkey has uh, managed to get around and adapt, uh, using her feet, of course, to feed herself. And she does keep her own within uh, in the enclosure. She's in D&D &D enclosure. Some of you would have seen her earlier in the season on our uh, 
live broadcasts of the D&D enclosure um, and she's doing very very well a lot of people think that monkeys won't survive but they're very adaptable and can overcome some of the worst trauma We're down at the skunky babies with Sidoni, Rollins here, who's going to weigh the babies. It's weigh day every Friday for them. So uh, they're very wriggly and difficult at this age <laughs> to keep calm unless they're asleep. Who's that you've got in there, Sidoni? It's Geo. Geo. Oops. <laughs> Did you get her? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then minus the blanket, yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So it's 460. 460 gram for Geo. Thank you very much. Looks like they're going to be a handful today. Have they all been drinking from the feeding cage okay today? Has everybody been drinking from yes. the feeding cage? Okay, great. And then we've got some females watching by the fence. Looks like there's Malawi. And I think it's Changito there as well. That's Gio just gone in the feeding cage down at Skunky. And Daisy May coming to join him. See if we can get our first intro cage drink. Well, one of the most important parts in the whole program is the little ones uh, basically going in and out of this feeding cage and uh, drinking the milk on their own. And uh, so this is a very, very positive sign. It means we can start letting moms in very shortly because uh, we know now these, these little ones are able to find the cage. They're able to go in on their own and uh, it shouldn't take them too long to work out to climb off mom and uh, go in here and feed themselves. And then of course the next step is to introduce moms and them to the uh, main enclosure and then get them back out into a natural environment as soon as we can. Of course, having more than one little orphan does give them uh, confidence, so they're not too scared to come to the front of the enclosure and actually start meeting uh, some of the older monkeys, which is a good thing. And of course, some of the, the monkeys um, from the enclosure come over and have a look at the little ones and see what uh, potential they've got, who's going to be a, a, a good baby and who's going to be a good mom. Uh, of course, they're all eager just to touch them and start grooming them. So this is a good kind of step just to help the little young ones get used to the troop, get used to the troop monkeys so that they're not too scared of them. And uh, then of course when we let uh, a female monkey in or one of the other monkeys in, 
it's not too much of a traumatic experience. But of course, we also do have to be careful because, as you can see in this case, they're clutching each other, and we don't want that to to happen when the moms come in. So sometimes we do have to separate them um, just to make sure they show more interest in the mothers and not in each other, because otherwise it defe defeats the whole purpose and can make the integration take uh, a lot longer. But for the meantime, this is okay. Everybody's having a look at each other, seeing how things go, and uh, basically a very good start to the introduction. She's already trying to play and keeping by. Sorry, you already jumped on my phone. The little ones, of course, orientating themselves and they do go around the whole enclosure just having a look out and seeing what's there, eventually climbing up to the higher platforms, which is also important because they've got to learn where their sleeping areas are and uh, they have to learn to sleep uh, up at the top. But, of course, these ones we don't leave in the enclosure. They'll be taken out at the end of each day. Uh, the only time they left just once there's a mother or a female monkey inside uh, to look after them. But uh, while they're still in the care of the volunteers, they'll, uh, somebody spends the whole day inside the enclosure with them and at the end of the day they all get packed up and taken uh, back to the sleeping quarters and spend their time with their carers and the next day we, we bring them down. So uh, this is just like a very good introduction phase as they're playing around, they're all happy um, and there's a lot of interest from the troop side which is very good. Really trying to get rid of Capu. Everyone has come greet them this morning. Well, practically the whole troops here at the fe at the fence showing interest in the little ones. Uh, everyone's getting more and more excited as it gets uh, closer to the time to to let moms or choose a, a mom or two to let them in. But uh, you can see how comfortable the little ones have got. They're not scared of going up to the fence and meeting the others at all and uh, they're sort of enjoying themselves, they don't get a fright or anything if new ones come up to their fence. So this is very, very important. It means the integration is going to go a lot smoother. Um, they won't be running away from them, so they're going to be quite interested in them. Um, so this is great. There you can see the troop playing outside, they're also very comfortable, also eager to meet the new, new ones. So I think things are going to go very well at the skunky enclosure. Jump on the phone.
Roddy Copy Daisy May and Kinney outside. Is that scary? And Gio is just sleeping, just cuddling up all morning so far. Roddy Copy, Daisy May, and Reggie. Going up to Reggie, brave little boy. Being Daisy A. Dang. Roddy Cappy and Daisy May.
um, difficult for him. It wasn't the same tea as last time, so... Find a better one today, huh? It would be so amazing when this lot are all on the standard bottles. <laughs> We're just lucky that we had some donations as well with these miracle teats are doing wonders. Oh, I can't imagine if we didn't have these. <laughs> it would have been a nightmare. You all done? We got Terry going for a little walk this morning. Get some energy, huh, girl? She's decided she loves her bunny teddy to cuddle up with at night. Mm -hmm. You can say hi to the boys. Can he suckle? Um, you have to put his mouth around the, the teat. I think Terry has a little crush on Finley. No, oh. she always wants to cuddle him. That's Finley in the front and Minnie Max at the back. Finley's doing really well now and suckling well, isn't he? Yeah. Try him on a bottle again later. So we've got Connie and Natasha keeping babies warm. They've got hot water bottles. There's Terry on top. And on the left is Finley and Minnie Max. And then we've got Oswald and Edson cuddled up in their blankets on a hot water bottle. Friendly cuddles. See your boyfriend. He's currently getting his ear attacked. Is Cosimo this morning? He seems uh, a bit brighter. He's had lots of cuddles. They've all got hot water bottles this morning because it's quite cold. Oh, when I say cold, it's South Africa cold which is just cool. Hey little guy. Yes, there's a nice tree. Looking out. Just checking if his mum's there or not. Big meal. Not a big meal. So this is what he's seen. He looks like a roha we can buy. So he sees the other monkeys. Yes?
you have to just ignore those because there's in any type of so Cosimo getting a nice groom from Lana he seems to really enjoy it that's what his mum would be doing so usually he'd be cuddled up with mum being groomed but then also sometimes just going off and doing his own thing but at this age always staying within three meters of mum Yeah, his tail's quite dirty. <laughs> Not very good here. <laughs> Looks like he's really enjoying that. I think you are too, Lana. <laughs> oh, you cute little son. Oh, Terry, he doesn't like that. He doesn't mm -hmm. like that. I know, I know. Oh, that sounds good. A little bit more. Oh, just a bit more. Oh, a little bit more. Let's get that sunlight out of the way. Oh! How many Tiny Terry and a uh, little teddy bear, or a big teddy bear. Little Terry on the nebulizer again, it does seem to be helping quite a lot. Her breathing and things uh, started getting a lot better and uh, she started getting a lot more active. So uh, definitely something uh, that helped her quite a bit. And uh, with that brings us to the end of uh, this week's episode. Uh, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, I hope you really have a fantastic day. Um, and get together with your family and friends and have a good celebration for those that don't let's hope you're having a fantastic holiday and a good break while you can from our side thank you everybody for watching your support uh, your generosity throughout the year it's really been amazing uh, it has kept us going and helped us quite a lot thank you for sharing just being part of our family we really appreciate it have a great holiday everybody and uh, I think we'll have one more episode before we start the new year. Um, if I can manage to fit it in in time, because it's quite busy at the moment. But uh, we'll do our best. See you next week.